Hi guys, and welcome to Let's Grow. I'm Mr. Drake, and I'm so glad you guys tuned in today. Today, we'll be talking about activities and games you can do with your toddler that improve their communication and language development. Communication and language development begins at home. At this age, children are beginning to repeat words they overhear in conversation. So it's very important to be a positive model when communicating around your child. At this age, your child is also experiencing a lot of changes in their emotional development, their cognitive development, motor skills, and their ability to verbalize their thoughts. So while they're going through these changes, it can be hard and it's important to be patient with your child. This first activity is called Window of Opportunity. And this is a very simple game that doesn't require any materials at all, just you and your toddler. So you'll position yourself in front of a window and you will point out different objects or things or people you see outside and get your toddler to say them or get your toddler to point them out as well. So you might be like, oh, there's a, there's a purple car. Do you see the purple car? Yeah, there it is. Now, what, well, what is that again? I forgot. Oh yeah, it's a purple car. You can also switch it around, switch the perspective and get your child to point out things to look at. And then that helps them retain that information so that they can remember it later on. And this helps with the developmental milestone of being able to identify people and objects when they're called. game is called magic bag and it doesn't call for too many materials you'll need a simple bag or a magical bag and you'll fill it with any objects you'd like that's appropriate for your child's age so let me show you an example of how you'll interact with your child when you're doing this activity here's my bag we're gonna go through it say oh <gasps> What is this? Do you know what this is? You don't? It's a bear. Yeah, a bear. Can you say bear? Bear, yeah. Teddy bear. Yes, it is a teddy bear. Good job. Now, what else do we have in there? Maybe you can get something out of there. Ooh, and then your child might go in there and pick it out themselves and, <gasps> what do you have? <gasps> a ball? Yeah, that's right, it is a ball. What color is that ball? Red, very good. So doing things like this and encouraging them to even answer without you asking or um, going a little further and not just saying this is a ball, but saying this is a red ball. Um, this is a great thing to do with your child if they are about to maybe go into a new environment or try something they've never tried before. Um, maybe the, the they're about to go to a school environment for the first time. Filling the bag with materials and things that they'll see in the classroom would benefit them so that they can follow directions a little better once they get to the classroom. This also assists your child in identifying people and objects when they're called. This activity is a very simple activity that I'm sure you've already started doing with your child. It's reading. Now for reading, of course the only materials you ne you'll need is a book. I picked out this book and it's a good example of something you can read to your child. And it, as you see, it has very simple three letter words and four letter words like cat or that and they also rhyme, which helps your child retain the information they're receiving. Now, when looking at the book and going along with it with your child, when it says, it's the mouse, it's mouse, the mouse. Where's the mouse? Oh, there's the mouse. Oh yeah, mouse, 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 mouse. Getting your child to um, relate the image to the words can help them connect illustrations and text when um, developing later on. And also the repetitiveness of this book. 
It says, cat, cat, who is that? Multiple times throughout the book. This repetitiveness also helps your child retain new information. Doing this exercise will help your child to um, form two to four word sentences, which is the developmental milestone they should be reaching at this point. Our final activity is called Ask and Respond. And it's as simple as that, and it doesn't call for any materials. You're gonna ask your child very simple questions, but encourage them to respond with full sentences. You can just um, scatter this throughout your day. The great thing about this activity is you don't quite have to sit down and carve out time for it. So asking questions like, um, what would you like to eat? How are you doing? Instead of the child responding with good, encourage them to say, I am good. Or it can even go with phrases such as, thank you. And your child responding with, you're welcome, instead of, uh-huh, or yes, or. Then they start forming these two to four word sentences, which is the developmental milestone they should be at at this time. <music> next month for our next episode of Let's Grow.